Hi, this is Dr. Chris Doherty. We're going to go over a complicated revision of meniscal repair utilizing a Nova Stitch Plus. This patient's had two prior arthroscopies. One was for repair. The second one was a diagnostic by a secondary surgeon who recognized there was significantly abnormal morphology. Happily, he halted on the case and referred her over for a secondary repair. So here we're trefining this horizontal cleavage tear in the lateral meniscus. She's actually got a little bit of cystic appearance of that posterior horn lateral meniscus. We did get some fluid out after we had trephinated it, so we're going to go ahead and repair that with our Nova Stitch Plus. For these anterior horn tears, specifically in the lateral meniscus, I'll tunnel underneath the lateral meniscus from the lateral portal. Medial, obviously, I just go through the medial portal, visualizing from lateral. I'll place the spinal needle underneath the inferior lamina and just shuttle a suture around the anterior horn. Otherwise, I pass as far as I can anterior with the Nova Stitch Plus and tie standard vertical mattress, or if the meniscus has been shortened, barrel stitches to basically recontour this meniscus. So here we've completed our lateral repair. You can see that anterior horn stitch. You can see how we go around to the posterior horn and we've got a nice repair of this lateral meniscus. Now we're going to move on to our medial meniscus and we can see this is a very tight compartment. If you don't trephinate this collateral ligament, you're not going to be able to see all the meniscus. We can see that she's had a removal of at least part of the middle one-third and it looks like the tibial side of the meniscus, the femoral side appears to be intact, but you can see that meniscal fixator right there in the middle of the screen. Once we trephinate the medial collateral ligament, it'll get our, give greater access to that medial compartment. Now we can clearly see this meniscal fixator is buried right at the meniscal capsular junction, but not through the capsule. You can also see as we probe the capsule how stiff it is along the meniscus and capsule where this implant is. We're going to look more towards the posterior horn. We can see a second meniscal fixator. This one also appears to have at least one within the meniscus, and there appears to be one outside the capsule. And you watch this meniscus snap as I move across its contour, telling me that implant is right there in that meniscus itself. So here we're probing our meniscus, and you can see it snap as we move across the implant, telling us that that position is intral meniscal and that secondary fixator. Now if we just yank on these, we're going to destroy the meniscus trying to remove it. So instead, I'm going to bring in a knife blade, and you can use the standard number 11 blade. I actually have a fair amount in hip arthroscopy, so I'll use a hip blade that Arthrex makes so I can extrude the blade, keeping it protected until I get up to the sutures. I'll go ahead and cut the sutures on this medial implant, the first one that you see, and you can see a secondary implant in that posterior horn I'm going to have to open up that meniscus to get to that implant because it's placed within the meniscus itself. So here I've cut the first set of sutures and then I'm going to open the tibial lamina of this posterior horn and see if I can grasp this meniscus and retrieve it. Now you have two options when retrieving implants. You can either push them back out through the capsule or actually bring them out through the portal. If you can successfully easily get to them without tearing up the meniscus, go ahead and bring them out through the portal. However, if you can't, you can push them through the capsule and out the back to give you some protection. Once they're out the back, they should be fine. So here I'm opening up the meniscus to give me better access. And in this patient, I have the luxury of also knowing that she has a Baker cyst back here. So I can push the implant back into the Baker cyst, store it there instead of having to retrieve it. So here I'm just going to carefully cut this out, preserving as much meniscus as possible, and I'll retrieve this implant here. And for the posterior implant, I simply shoved it back into the Baker cyst. Once we get the implants out, then we're just going to use our Nova Stitch Plus and repair in standard technique. You can see we retrieve that implant quite easily. We'll pull on these sutures, and you can watch the capsule come at us, and that's how you know that that implant is actually through the meniscal capsular junction as opposed to within the meniscus itself. You can see meniscus and capsule and you don't see a good separation between the two telling us that it's still intact. Here we're tugging on this implant. One of them I know I can get too easy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull pretty hard and just get the implant and the suture in one pull on this one. And then for the second one that's stuck right at the meniscal capsule junction, I'm just going to push it back into the Baker cyst. And afterwards we're just going to go ahead and repair. So here I'm pulling and I'm going to destroy that meniscus by pulling it hard enough. So instead I'll just push it out the back. They're really firm when you get a hold of them. You can feel it and you can just push it right through the meniscus. So still that snap. So that's the one that I'm going to push back in. 
push it further into the back of the knee and out the capsule so that I can go ahead and repair. And you're confident because once you start probing that meniscal contour, that hard stop is gone. You know you've got it out the back of the meniscus and through the capsule. In this case, I just use my grasper to push it through. So here I've gone ahead and repaired with my Nova Stitch Plus. So I got my barrel stitches in the middle one third. I would like to have grafted the middle one third with the CMI implant, but the insurance won't approve it. So for that defect where I had to split open the meniscus after I sutured it, I'm going to shove this amniotic membrane wrap into the meniscus to aid in its healing. This is going to seed out with growth factors. And this is the blunt end of my knife with the blade off to help give me a nice low profile pusher to dock this into that meniscus.